Charles. Kane. Pull your muffler around your neck, Charles. Kane, I think we shall have to tell him now. Yes. I'll sign those papers now, Mr. Thatcher. You people seem to forget that I'm the boy's father. It's going to be done exactly the way I've told Mr. Thatcher. There ain't nothing wrong with Colorado. I don't see why we can't raise our own son just because we come into some money. If I want, I can yes. go to court. A father has a right to. A boarder that beats his bill and leaves worthless stock behind. That property is just as much my property as anybody's, now that it's valuable. And if Fred Graves had any idea all this was going to happen, he'd have made out those certificates in both our names. However, they were made out in Mrs. Kane's name. He owed the money for the board to the both of us. The bank's decision on all matters concerning... I don't the... hold with signing my boy away to any bank as guardian. I want you to just stop because... all this nonsense, The bank's Jim. decision on all matters concerning his education, his places of residence, and similar subjects is to be the final. The idea of a bank being the guardian. I want you to stop all this nonsense, Jim. We will assume full management of the Colorado load, which I repeat, Mrs. Kane, you are the sole owner. Oh, no. Where do I sign, Mr. Thatcher? Right here, Mrs. Kane. Mary, I'm asking you for the last time. Anybody think I hadn't been a good the husband? The sum of fifty thousand dollars a year is to be paid to you and Mr. Kane as long as you both live, and thereafter to the survivor. Well, let's hope it's all for the best. It is. Why I can't raise my own boy more than I can understand. Go on, Mr. Thatcher. Everything else, the principal as well as all money's earned, is to be administered by the bank in trust for your son Charles Foster Kane until he reaches his 25th birthday, at which time he is to come into complete...